Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this video, I'm going to work on exercise 3.3 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Workbook 5. And this exercise is about prime and composite numbers. We have some keywords over here, which are composite numbers, factor, multiple, and prime number. Composite number is a number that is having more than two factors. More than two factors. So what is factor? Factors are the numbers that we multiply to get a product. For example, two times three is six. Now two and three are called factors. They are called factors. And multiple is the number that we get by multiplying a number with other numbers. Suppose we multiply two by four, two by three, two by two, so any number that we get is called multiple of two. Two times four is eight. Now eight is a multiple of two. Two times three is six. So six is a multiple of two. Two times two is four. So four is also a multiple of two. So these numbers that we can get by multiplying a number with other numbers are called multiples of a number. And the last keyword we have is prime number. Prime number is a number that is having only two factors only two factors and the factors can be one in the number itself one in the number itself we have a worked example over here it says here are four digit cards we have three nine two and one now it is asking us to use each card once to make two two digit prime numbers as I said, prime numbers are having only two factors, one and the number itself. The prime numbers that we can make from here can be 31 and 29. There are some other options also that you can use. For example, here it says uh, you can use 19 and 23, you can use 13 and 29. So it's up to you how you arrange the numbers and write the prime number. Well, let's now start working on the given questions. So I will scroll down a bit. In question one of this exercise, it says, here is a grid of numbers. Shed all prime numbers, what later is revealed? What later is shown? So starting from the top left, 14 is not a prime number because it's asking us, to shed the prime numbers only. 2 is a prime number, let me shed it. 13 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 8 is not a prime number. 15 is also not a prime number. But 3 is a prime number. 1 is not a prime number. 1 cannot be a prime or composite number. Why? Because 1 has only one factor. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. It is a duplicate factor which is considered as 1. So 1 cannot be a prime or a composite number. So 11 is a prime number. 15 is not. 1 again is not. Here 11 is a prime number. 19 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. 6 is not because 6 has more than 2 factors. And 9 is also not. But 17 is a prime number. But 9 is not a prime number. 15 is also not a prime number, 12 is not a prime number, again 12 is not a prime number, but 5 here is a prime number, 16 is not, 4 is not, and again 14 is not a prime number. What letter is revealed over here? It is the letter P. It is the letter P. Well, question 1 is easily solved. Let's move to question 2. In question 2 it says, Write each number in the correct place on the diagram. In this diagram, on one circle we have prime number, on the other one we have composite number. And four, five numbers are given here. Two is a prime number because it has two factors. So two comes on the left here. Three is also a prime number. Three also comes to the left. Four is a composite number. So four comes on the circle to the right. And 5 is a prime number on the left, 
and finally six is a composite number so it's sorted out well let's move to question three in question three it says complete this sentence the sentence says a number with only two factors is called what is it called it is called a prime number a prime number the examples are given above there well let me scroll down to move to the next question in question four it says here is a grid of numbers draw a path between two shaded numbers which over here is 2 and 11 that passes only through prime numbers passes only through prime numbers and now it says you must not move diagonally that means you cannot move in this direction you have to move either down or to the right or to the left so starting from 2 to the right of it is 4 which is not a prime number but down here 3 is a prime number so we should 3 and again under 3 we have 1 which is not a prime number but 23 to the right of it is a prime number so we should 23 and again 29 is a prime number 51 is not a prime number then we have 71 a prime number then we have under 71 we have 7 a prime number again under 7 we have 1 which is not a prime number so we have to move to the right 5 is a prime number then 2 is a prime number and finally we reach to 11 so this is the path that we made coming down from 2 then to the right again down then to the right and finally down to 11 well question 4 is also solved let me move to question 5. In part A of question 5, it says, find two different prime numbers that total 9. Two different prime numbers that total 9. So the two prime numbers that give us 9 is 7 and 2. Both of them are prime numbers and they give us 9. In part B, it says, Find two different prime numbers that total 50. Two different prime numbers that total 50. So one of the prime numbers that we can use is 43 and the other one is 7. The other one is 7. 43 plus 7 is 50. Question 5 is also solved. In question 6 it says, show that 15 is a composite number. How to show? We can show it based on the definition. Composite number is a number that has more than two factors. So let's show the factors of 15. 1 times 15 is equal to 15. So two factors here. And we have 3 times 5 also equals 15. So this shows that 15 is having more than two factors. In this case, 15 is a composite number a composite number okay 15 is a composite number question 6 is also solved let me scroll down to move to question 7 in question 7 it says use the clues to find two prime numbers less than 20 two prime numbers less than 20 Prime number 1, it says, subtracting 4 from this prime number gives a multiple of 5. Gives a multiple of 5. Let me list the prime numbers less than 20. We have 2, 3, we have 7, we have 11, we have 13, we have 17, and we have 19. These three cannot give 11 minus 4 is 7, it's not a multiple of 5. 13 minus 4 is 9, it's not a multiple of 5. 17 minus 4 is 13, it's not a multiple of 5. And 19 minus 4 is 15. So that number is 19. That number is 19. That prime number is 19. 
because 19 minus 4 is giving us 15 and 15 is a multiple of 5. For the prime number 2, it says this prime number is 1 more than a multiple of 4, but not 1 less than a multiple of 3. 1 more than a multiple of 4, but not 1 less than a multiple of 3. 2 cannot be, 3 can also not be, 7 can also not be, because 7 is not 1 more than multiple of 4. 11 is 1 less than multiple of 3. It can also not be, but 13 is 1 more than multiple of 4. The multiple of 4 less than 13 is 12. And it is not 1 less than multiple of 3. Multiple of 3 after 13 is 15. So 13 is not 1 less than 15. So the number that we have is 13. The number that we have is 13. So for prime number 1, we have 19. And for prime number 2, we have 13. Well, this question is also solved. Let me scroll down to move to question 8. In question 8, it says, Multiples of 6 are shaded on this grid. They are shaded on this grid. So we have 6, 12, 18, and so on, which is store off. Well, in grid looks at the grid and says, one more than any multiple of 6 is always a prime number. Now it says, in grid is wrong. Explain how you know. So we can say that we cannot have a prime number after or one more than all multiples of 6. We have the multiples of 6 which are 24. So 1 more than 24, 1 more than 24 is 25. It is not a prime number. In the same way, we have 48 which is a multiple of 4. And 1 more than 48 is 49 which is not a prime number. So these two counter example proves that she is wrong. She is wrong. Well, let me scroll down to move to question 9. In question 9, it says, Arun chooses a prime number. He rounds it to the nearest 10. And his answer is 70. His answer is 70. Right all the possible prime numbers Aaron could choose. All possible prime numbers Aaron could choose. So to find the answer to this question, we have to list all the prime numbers above and below 70. So 70 is here. The prime numbers below 70 can be 67. It can be 61. And above 70, we have 71, we have 73, and we have 77. 77 cannot be used to round to 70 because it's 5 or more in the ones place. And 71 can also be one of the possible answers. 73 can also be one of the possible answers. And 70 and 67 can also be one of the possible answers. So the numbers that I can list here can be 67, 71, and 73. These are the possible answers that we can have and we can round them to 70. And they are all prime numbers. They're all prime numbers. Well, we are done with question nine. In question 10, it says, Write each whole number from 1 to 20 in the correct place on the when diagram. In the correct place on the when diagram. So over here we have triangular numbers, we have prime numbers, and we have even numbers. Let me list numbers from 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So you know that the triangular numbers are the numbers that give us triangle when we use them as a dot pattern and prime numbers are the numbers that have only two factors and even numbers are the numbers that end even numbers are the numbers that end in 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. So any number that ends in these five numbers, they are called even numbers. Well, starting from 1. 1 is a triangular number because it gives a triangle. So 1 comes here. 2 is a prime number. At the same time, it is an even number. So it comes between prime number and even number. So 2 is here. And 3 is a prime number and at the same time a triangular number. So 3 comes in the center between prime number and triangular number. Well, 3 is put here. Then let me cross the ones which are used. 1 is used, 2 is used, 3 is used, and 4 is an even number but it's not triangular number or prime number. So four comes here, four is also crossed. Five is a prime number, but not even or triangular number. So five comes in the circle where we have prime numbers. Five is also crossed, but six is even number and triangular number. So six comes here in the center between triangular number and even number, six is crossed. 7 is prime number, 7 is also crossed, 8 is an even number but not a prime or a triangular number, so 8 comes here, 8 is crossed, so 9 is not having any of these qualities, so 9 stays out because 9 is not a prime number, 9 is not an even number and 9 is not a triangular number. 9 is crossed and 10 is both a triangular number and also an even number. So 10 comes here, 10 comes here. Well, 10 is also crossed. 11 is a prime number. 11 comes here, it's crossed. 12 is an even number, but not triangular or prime number. So 12 is put here. Well, 13 is a prime number, but not even or triangular number. So 13 comes in the prime number section. 14 is even number. I will write 14 here, but it is not a triangular number or prime number. Well, 15 is a triangular number, but not prime or even. So 15 comes here. Well, 15 is crossed. 16 is even. It's also crossed. 17 is prime, it's also crossed, 18 is even, I will put 18 here, crossed, 19 is prime, crossed, and 20 is also even, because it says 1 to 20, so let me write 20 here, and 20 is also even, I will write 20 over here, so 20 is also crossed, we are then putting them in the correct place, we have 1 and 5, and the triangular numbers, 3 is between prime numbers and triangular numbers. In the same way, 6 and 10 are between even numbers and triangular numbers. And 2 is between even and prime numbers. So with this question, we are done with all questions of exercise 3.3 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Workbook 5. And I hope it helps you learn about prime and composite numbers and how to solve problems related to prime and composite numbers. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates and with your students as well. Have a nice time and thank you so much.